Hi, my name is Shalina Doss. I'm the Talent Acquisition and Retention Manager here at Brewer Science. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between an internship and a co-op and which experience may be best for you. An internship is designed for uh, students that are going to school for a specific degree and this allows them to get out into the industry and get that hands-on um, real-life work experience. When I say go to work, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're getting paid. Some internships are uh, paid internships and some of them are um, not paid. An internship typically is somewhere around 20 hours a week. Now that can vary depending on the student's schedule, uh, the needs of the manager, the business, but most commonly we see that that's roughly around 20 hours a week because these students are still enrolled, enrolled in school full time. The main reason that a student would enroll in an internship is really just to get into the industry and to gain that knowledge and that expertise as they're still finishing uh, their studies. So let's talk about co-ops. A co-op is a little bit different from an internship in the aspect that the duration of time that they're at a business is longer. Typically they will not be enrolled in any classes while they're completing their co-op. When a student enrolls in a co-op opportunity, they're typically taking one to two semesters off of school and they're devoting a full 40 hours a week to being at a place of, of employment or a place of business to really learn um, whatever that skill set is, whatever they're pursuing their degree in. Much like internships, a co-op uh, can be uh, non-paid or it can be paid. Here at Brewer Science, both our internship opportunities and our co-op opportunities are paid. There are really five main reasons that you'd want to enroll in either an internship or a co-op while you're continuing your studies. For one, it gets you that industry experience. While going to school, you're gonna learn everything um, academically that you need to know, but having that actual hands-on industry and experience will just put you ahead of so many others when you do graduate and it's time to start looking for, for positions. It also really helps to start building relationships. So for example, at Brewer Science, if we have a position come open and we have an intern that's already a part of our team, we already have an idea of the work ethic and the quality of work that person is more than likely going to be chosen over somebody who's just fresh out of college that we don't yet have that relationship built with. During an, a co-op or an internship, um, it gives both the employer and the employee an opportunity to really see if it's a good match. So as an intern or a co-op, it gives you the opportunity to take a look at that company and see what their values, what their missions are, what kind of benefits they're going to offer. Also, in some cases, we have found that when we have an internship with us, they may be pursuing a degree in one thing, but after they've had the opportunity to come and work for us uh, for several months or maybe even several semesters, they have a change in their interest and they've realized that what they're going to school for is not necessarily the, the career path that they want to be on. I hope that I've been able to illustrate the difference between a co-op and an intern and to give some definition behind it, behind each one and really what the purpose is that will allow you to decide, um, one, if you're interested in a co-op or an intern position, and two, how that experience can help you. Mm -hmm.